take a look at printing off photos from your Chromebook. The old Windows way of printing images really dates back about 20 years to a time when people printed photos in their home. That's no longer very commonplace and it really only exists in Windows now because it was part of Windows 20 years ago. Most people now either take their phone or their memory stick down to a place like Walmart Photo and print them there or they send them off to a place like Shutterfly because you get such a better quality photo than trying to print at home. So schools are really the only places that still engage in this type thing. So it doesn't really come as a surprise that on some of the newer operating systems, this is simply not a thing. The workaround though is really easy and it's actually possibly even easier than the Windows method for a couple of reasons. One is that you can print all of the photos right away. And the other is that it's going to save you a file containing all of the photos in the PDF format. So if you need to reprint at some point in time, it's just going to live there in your Google Drive as long as you don't delete it. And you could reprint at any point in time. So I'm on this page called online to pdf.com and I'm going to select my files. Now I'll tell you ahead of time, this is really only going to work on your Chromebook because it can only look in Google Drive when you're on your Chromebook. So I'm going to click select files. And we can see that it's looking in my drive and I'm in a folder called pretend class photos. So I'm going to select some JPEGs. I can click on the first one. And then if I hold down the control button, I can select some very specific photos without having to select them all. So I've got five images selected. I'm going to scroll it just a little bit and I'm going to hold down control again. And I'm just going to pick a couple more images. So in my online to PDF, I've got six images loaded in now. And I'm going to come down here. I'm going to make sure I'm in on image to PDF. I can select what type paper I want to print on. I can select the orientation. Personally, I often tend to go with a portrait orientation, but you can change that if you want. I can choose how many images I want it to put on a page. So I'm saying four. I'm thinking that's going to be about the size I want for this class project. And I can make sure they've got some spaces in between them. And then I can make it so that the software here turns them so they're all the same size. So if they're a landscape portrait, I can have it rotate it. Or if I want it to do it, if it's a portrait photo to rotate it, but I'm going to do it if it's a landscape because I've selected portrait up here. And so I want it to convert a landscape to a portrait if any of the photos that I've chosen were shot with my phone turned sideways. Now I'm going to just hit convert and it's going to take a minute to create this PDF file. And then it's going to just download it into that temporary little downloads folder here on my Chromebook. Downloads folder doesn't have tons of space. So I do want to delete stuff or move things right away into my Google Drive. So my download manager tells me the download's complete. So I'm going to have it show it to me in the folder. And we see there it is. Seven files merged. It's .pdf and it's sitting in this downloads folder. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to just drag it over to my Google Drive, and then I could delete it. And honestly, I should probably delete all of this stuff. So I'm going to go Control A, and I am going to hit the trash so that it clears out this little tiny hard drive so that I'm not going to put myself in a position where my hard drive's full up and I can't do something like this. So now my downloads is empty. A little side note, I digress, but I've moved that collage or those photos over into my Google Drive. So now I'm going to come over here onto my Chrome browser and I'm going to go to drive.google.com and we're going to find that PDF file with those photos and then I can just print it just like I would print any other PDF file. IMG seven files merged. Now if I want to, I can rename this. So class photos for Christmas. Oops. Class photos for Christmas concert. Now it's named what it actually is. So if I'm looking for it later, that's going to assist me with finding it. I'm going to double click it open. There's the photos. You can see that it has rotated them so that they match. Um, photos taken with my SLR camera compared to my cell phone are a little bit different on their aspect, but I've got them all here. So now I can just go control P and I can instruct it to print this division off. Office color copier looks good. Portrait looks good. I'd like it in color. I don't want it two-sided because I'm going to cut these out for a bulletin board. And then I'm just going to hit print and it's going to print those to the color copier for me. And I am ready to go with some images. If I don't like the way they've come out on here, I can go back to the PDF converter and I could change some of, some of my settings on there. So if I wanted 
if I didn't quite like the way that those set up, maybe I'll go with, um, instead of landscape if required, let's go with portrait if required. Or we can look at rotate to the right, we, you know, lots of things we can do. Automatic orientation, maybe I'll try that. Let's go convert and let's see what we get. There's only one way to know and that's to, to do it, to test and see how you like it. And then choose if you're going to keep it or if you're going to make some adjustments. Okay, so let's take a look at what this looks like. Okay, that's kind of more what I had in mind. They're a little bit bigger and I think they're going to suit things a little bit better. Now, I've still got one that's not quite right, but really, I think I'm doing pretty good here. So I can go ahead and I could hit the print file here or I can go back to my Google Drive and print it there. So really, I wouldn't even have to save it into my Google Drive if I chose not to. I could print directly from this application as well.